Fiddling Gabdi, Danny Boy here, we're back with more Transport Fever on the modded map. Now we are actually on uh, the modded map. The Vienna Tokyo Express has gone kaput. Eventually. <laughs> now, uh, the standard map here, a uh, bit laggy as you can see, because the game is playing. If I pause it, I can glide through the map with much more pace. Now, I've started the map split, so all of Europe remains. We head down to Russia, Alaska still remains. Uh, all the trains, buses, trucks, planes, ships in America have been sent to depots have, and have been sold. I'm keeping Alaska because there's trains that run to Russia, the Arctic Express and the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Boston is no more. I've started uh, extinguishing New York. See, that's going. Goodbye. This is actually really fun. Just annihilating entire cities. But I want to get Kari to where we at just now. But there it is. Uh, Calgary is gone. Ottawa and Toronto have gone. Now, if we go into here and check the cities population there are now four towns with zero population so I've knocked off something like 15,000 population just by deleting those four cities and it's freed up quite a lot of frames I've also been getting out of rail industries anything that requires the game to load stuff in so the result of that is if I go over here and push play again now the game is starting to get faster every time I delete a city if we pick a sort of high speed train I'm not sure for one actually resides Kiev if I could find my Atlas Corp uh, Eve is this the Atlas Corp Eve no but it is a decent fast train so we'll push play on the ice we will wait for him to go around. Now as you can see it's starting to look a bit better just with that train there coming in and that's only we deleting four cities. That's why we'll get to watch the trains uh, actually moving at a decent speed with decent frames. Now for you, those of you that like the American trains don't panic I'm going to be doing the same We on a separate save file. Deleting the European sort of side of things so we can see uh, decent trains, decent frames and follow the trains on there. Now it's still a wee bit of laggy but I've only deleted three cities, four cities sorry. Every time I delete a bit more the frames get better. So already it's starting to look a bit better. I've now actually gone first person, still pretty laggy in there. But as I continue to delete stuff, it will get better. And it means that I can get more trains and keep it going. Because I wanted to play till 2050, because that's when the last sort of train appears. We've still got quite a few lines that we can build on. Uh, more stuff for the goods hub. I need to update some Scandinavian trains. I want something super duper fast. I can't find anything super duper fast. For the hell is that Atlas train? You are quite fast. The bullet train. Now I hear a few bullet trains. I can only find one. <laughs> Switch the train identifier on. Right, here we go. You, sir. Let's have a look at this. Now he's going to go into a tunnel. Unfortunately. So we're gliding across the map because the train's under a tunnel. <laughs> this would be like ultimate drone calm. Flying at speed across the land, following a train. So there you have a bullet train which is currently doing 160 miles per hour. Still a wee bit of frame loss, but as I continue to delete stuff, uh, it will get better. Now it actually did take me quite a long time to ace and all the trains to the depot 
and B start deleting stuff. Now, uh, there was a new mod in Steam Workshop for you could get a bulldozer, highlight a huge area and delete stuff. Every time I did that, it crashed. I don't think it's a problem with the mod, I think the mod actually does work. I think it's just the sheer amount of crap I was trying to delete in one go was just uh, completely freaking the game out and it was, uh, it was having none of it. So I've just been sort of deleting everything with the bulldozer, just sort of blasting around stuff. Wally nilly until completely cities have been completely wiped for the face of the earth. Now every time I delete stuff, as I said, frames do get better. So I'm hoping to start running uh, like more trains and we'll be able to see stuff in better detail. We did skip through a few years and I hadn't actually checked to see if anything new became available. I was so distracted on the annihilation of America and then I'll have to do the annihilation of Europe and save just the American side. But we'll have a look, because I've now actually checked myself. No, the last thing we got was in 2017, so we didn't get anything in 2018. Diesels finished quite a while ago. Passengers, uh, the Ice 2, 2015. Freight, I've no idea about freight, because there's so much different things. Multiple units was the Eve, and diesel units was still this uh, Australian number back in 2008. So I think diesels are done. I think there's only a handful of trains. I might actually play it forward to 2050 so we can get all the trains out. That might actually happen by the time I've deleted all these cities. But I will continue to delete stuff. This is actually fun. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> But uh, as I said, people who like the American version of the map don't despair, I will be saving it as well. Uh, obviously it'll take some time to delete everything in Europe. There are more cities in Europe, Russia and Asia than there are on the American side. And I actually spent hours DNS and I only managed to delete four cities. Potentially five, because that's when I take my long to delete. Really, it's deleting the track. Now we're deleting at four cities, frames have gone up a fair bit, so I might just delete the cities and keep the track and just sort of clean it up as I sort of, when I have the time. But I've been working on the new maps as well, so it's not, it's not been easy to find the time. And I'm supposed to be going off, this is Saturday, I'm supposed to be going offshore on Sunday, which is tomorrow. But I'm kind of heard on the grapevine that my flight might be cancelled. So, hopefully it is, I'll get another day at home to sort of work on things. And I would have liked to have recorded tomorrow's episode today, but I'm not sure if I'll have time to do it. So, still quite a lot of things to do before I go away. So, that is going to be it though. It was just a quick update, just in case when I uh, bring out the next episode that everyone didn't freak out because. Uh, the USA had been obliterated for the face of the earth. It will still exist just on a separate save file and we'll sort of work between the two. Uh, there's not really much trains though for America. I didn't think there's any more to be released so we'll just sort of hit a work we fit we've got. Unfortunately the modders prefer to mod the European sort of stuff which is good but uh, American modded trains are sort of few and far between. Or they seem to be the same sort of trains but just with different liveries, which again is good because you can sort of mix it up a bit. Hey, different trains rolling. Although they're not, they're the same type of train, they've got different paint jobs, which is has a bit more variety to the game. But that's going to be it for me for this little episode. Uh, if you did actually watch this and you'd like to leave a like or comment, please do. If you'd like to see any lines in America or US or sorry Europe, Russia or Asia that I've not actually implemented yet, if you'd like to see them implemented before we finish our season, uh, leave a comment and I will get on it. 
and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you don't hear from me tomorrow, it's because I've gone offshore. Uh, hopefully the flight gets cancelled, as I've been led to believe. So the problem with helicopter flights is they don't tell you until you're actually in the heliport. It might be cancelled now, but they won't actually tell you until you get there. And people in the offices do not really work on Saturday, so you sort of turn up to the heliport. So I hope for the best. So we shall see tomorrow. Uh, but that's gonna be it uh, until I get back from offshore again. So I will be gone for a while. I did plan to hey several episodes recorded, but we creating the new maps and deleting a lot of this map. It uh, T took up a lot of time so hopefully it won't be too long a trip hopefully my flight gets cancelled tomorrow but that's been it for me uh, i've been danny boy this has been transport fever and i will catch you later